Hello my scholars, you are welcome to my spiritual journey and my name is Frank. In this video, we are going to be talking about work, power and energy. So relax, do not go anywhere and we will be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. This is a continuation of our physics topic by topic lesson video. So today we are going to be talking about work, power and energy. So before we start, let's quickly run through the objective of today's lesson. So at the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain work, energy and power and give example of each to calculate the work done, giving a force and displacement it produces in its direction the gravitational potential energy at height h above a given reference plane. Three, calculate power in watts, giving an applied force and time it takes to produce displacement. Four, identify the types of energy possessed by a body under given condition. Five, distinguish between kinetic and potential energy. Six, identify energy transformation from one form to another and seven state the law of conservation of energy so let us begin with the lesson the term work can have several interpretation okay including meta activities such as working in the office or reading in school okay in physics however work is always associated with movement and work has one meaning so we define work as the product of force and perpendicular distance in the direction of the applied force so sometimes you can be asked when is work said to be done so you can tell the person that work is said to be done whenever a force causes a body to move a certain distance in the direction of the force and it is equal to the product of force and the distance moved okay so work is denoted uh, is denoted by the letter W and work is a scalar quantity. So I also included the dimension of work, okay, which is m l square t raised to power minus 2. Okay, that is the dimension of work. Mathematically, work can be defined as force times distance, right? Or work is equal to force times distance cos theta. Okay, so how did this cos theta came about? Sometimes the force applied to move an object can make an angle with the horizontal plane. So in that case, you have to resolve that force into the horizontal component. So that is how cos theta came about. Okay, so the SI unit of work is the joule, or the unit of work is the joule. And we define one joule as the work done when a force of one newton moves a distance of one meter so let's move to the next slide okay let me go through that definition of one joule again i said we define one joule as the work done when a force of one newton moves a distance of one meter so this is what i was trying to explain earlier that sometimes the force applied to an object okay can make an angle with the horizontal right so in order to get the uh, work done we go force times distance cos theta Okay, so in that case, we have to resolve this force into the horizontal component. Why? Because the, this object is moving on the horizontal plane. Okay, so larger units of work are the kilojoule or the kilojoule and the megajoule. One kilojoule is equal to 10 raised to power 3 joule, which is 1000 joule. And one megajoule is equal to 10 raised to power 6 joule, which is equivalent to 1 million joule. So let's move to the next slide. Okay, so on the next slide, we are going to be applying some of all those formulas that we just mentioned for work to solve this problem so that you can get used to it and know how to apply them when you are faced with similar problem. Okay, so we are going to be solving this problem on the board. So let's move to the board to solve this problem. But before we move to the board, let's first of all read out the question. So we are solving question one first. So example one, a body is pulled along a horizontal plane by a constant force of 10 newton applied to the parallel plane. A, calculate the work done in moving the body a distance of 20 meters. So as usual, in solving any problem, okay, the first thing to do is to write out the parameters that are given to you. So that's exactly what we are going to be 
doing okay so we are solving a first for that question so let's try that the parameter that are given to us but first of all you can quote your formula right we know that work done w or is equals to force times distance as remember that in physics distance is denoted by x okay so from the question we are giving force to be equals to 10 newton and we are giving distance to be equals to 20 meters so we are asked to calculate work done so we know that w which stands for work done is equals to force times distance so we just substitute these values to get our answer so in that case we are having 10 times 20 right and this will be equals to 200 joule remember that the unit of work is the joule okay so the answer to the a question is 200 joule Okay, so let's move back so that we can solve the B part of the question. So what work has been done if the same force, okay, if the same force of 10 Newton is used on a body for the same distance, but in this case applied in a direction making an angle of 60 degree. Okay, so we are going to be using the second uh, formula for calculating work done to solve question B. Okay, so for B, we are going to be using w is equals to f you can bring your course here first because theta times x right is still the same okay so remember the force is still the same which is 10 newton then but the angle is cos 60 okay according to the question is cos 60 then times the distance still remains the same 20 right now remember that cos 60 is equals to 1 over 2 so in this case we have having 10 times 1 over 2 times 20 so 2 here is 1 2 here is 5 so that we'll be having 5 times 20 right and 5 times 20 is equals to 100 joule okay so this is the answer to question b okay so let's move on to solve question example 2 okay a constant force of 40 newton acting on a body initially at rest gives an acceleration of 0 0.1 meter per second square for four seconds calculate the work done by the force calculate the work done by the force so if you are when you are given questions like this first of all you just can't read the question to see the parameters that are given to you so if you check the question carefully you'll find out that we are giving force but we are not giving distance right but there are some information that are included in this question that we can use okay to calculate for that distance before we can now calculate for the work done okay so sometimes that is how our physics question you know, normally comes okay so let's move over to the board let's write out the parameters that are given to us and calculate for uh, distance first then before we can now solve for the work done by the force okay so from that question we are giving force to be equals to 40 newton according to the question then we are told that the body is initially at rest that is zero meter per second so acceleration was given to us to be 0 0.1 meter per second square right and what again is given to us we are given time to be equal to four seconds right so with this information here we can actually calculate for distance using the second equation of motion okay and remember that the second equation of motion is x is equals to ut plus 1 over 2 a t squared right so let's substitute the values that are given to us so that we can get the value of x so s is equals to 0 times 4 plus 1 over 2 times 0 0.1 times 4 raised to the power 2 right so let's tidy this up so s is equals to this already 0 plus 1 over 2 okay so let's remove this plus it's already positive right so this is the same thing as times 1 over 10 i know the reason why i did that right then times this is the same as uh, 16 over 1 right so in this case we can reduce 2 here is 1 2 here is uh, 8 2 here is 5 2 here is 4 so that will be having 4 over 5 right so 4 over 5 is the same thing as 0 0.8 right so meter because we are calculating for distance okay so the distance is 0 0.8 meter but remember that work done w is equals to force times distance so from our calculation we've gotten the value of distance which is not given to us in the question but other informations were given to us to enable us 
get the value of distance, which is 0 0.8 meters. So let's plug in our values. Now, F is given to us equals to 40. Then our uh, distance from our calculation was 0 0.8. Uh, so in this case, we're having 40 times 0 0.8. Okay, so let's make it a bit easier. So 40 times, of course, 0 0.8 is the same thing as, um, is the same thing as 8 over 10, right? It's the same thing as 8 over 10. So 10 here is 1, 10 here is 4. Okay, so that will be having 4 times 8. So 4 times 8 is 32 joule. Okay, so this is the answer to example two okay so that means the work done by the force is equal to 32 joule so let's move over to the next slide to see what you have there so work done in a feed okay so whenever an object is lifted vertically upward okay work is usually done against gravity and remember that gravitational uh, feed is an example of a force feed Okay, so every object on the Earth's surface is under the influence of the force of gravity. Of course, we know that. And this force pulls the object towards its center. So the Earth's gravitational field is an example of force feed. Okay, so force feed are those force that does not require contact, okay, with the body they act upon. So you normally feed them whenever you are in the feed of those force. Okay, whenever you are in the feed of those force. So if a body is to be lifted vertically upward, work has to be done against this force of gravity. Okay, so in this case, the magnitude of the work done is given by W is equal to force times distance. Of course, we know that force is equal to MA. Okay, but in this case, we are dealing with vertical um, height or vertical distance. So in that case, uh, our A which is acceleration, will now be changed or will change to acceleration due to gravity. So that our force become mg, right? And our distance is h, which is because it's vertical distance, right? So that's why we replace distance s with h. So that work done, okay, in a feed becomes m times g times h. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. So we are where m is equal to mass of the body, usually given in kg, kilogram, okay, which is the basic unit of mass, okay, why g is equal to acceleration due to gravity, so in most cases, you'll be asked to uh, take it as 10 meter per second square, or in some cases, you'll be asked to take it as 9.8 meter per second square, where h is equal to height in meter, and w stands for work done in joule. Also take note of this. Now, if a body of mass M falls from a vertical height H, the total work done will also be equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. Take note. If a body of mass M falls from a vertical height, okay, the total work done will also be equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. So let's move to the next slide so that we can apply this in solving some problems. Okay, the answers of all these examples is so that you can get used to them, okay, and know when to make use of these formulas. Okay, so let's begin with example one. A man of mass 80 kg carries a load of bricks mass 20 kg up a vertical ladder of length 6 meter. What work has he done? Okay, take G as 10 meter per second square. So let's move over to the board to solve that question. So the man, so right small mass, okay, is given to us to be equal to 80 kg, right? And we are told that he carried a brick. So let's say the mass of the brick. So let's put mass here and use brick here in this case. So that is equal to 20 kg, right? And we are told that the length of the ladder, which is the same thing as height, is equal to 6 meter. And we should take G to be equal to 10 meter per second square. Now remember that this question is a case of work done in a feed. Okay? So work done in this case will be equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. Okay? But take note, the total mass is what we are going to be using here. 
okay because that is what we multiply with uh, acceleration due to gravity to produce the force okay that actually move this mass okay up to the distance of six meters so take note of that so our total weight will be 80 plus 20 right so if we multiply this by acceleration due to gravity that will give us the force okay so let's move ahead so um this will be equal to 100 right 100 kg so 100 kg okay 100 times 10 times 6 so this will be equal to 1000 so 1000 times 6 that will give us 6000 joule right of course we can as well still convert this to kilojoule in this case we're going to have having 6 kilojoule right remember that uh one kilojoule okay is equals to 1000 joule right so we are converting 6000 joule to kilojoule so in that case we divide by 1000 so that's why one side is 6 kilojoule okay so the answer to that question is 6 kilojoule so let's move back to the screen so that we can solve example two so example two a stone of mass 10 kg falls from a height of two meter calculate the work done so let's move over to the board to solve that problem okay so let's try the parameters that are given to us mass of the stone okay mass of the stone is equals to uh, 20 this is equals to 10 kg okay and uh, the height is equals to is equals to two meter right and remember the acceleration due to gravity was not given to us so we take it to be equals to 10 meter per second square right remember that work done in this case okay work done in this case is equals to uh, mass times acceleration due to gravity okay so let's just go m times g times h so it's better so we simply substitute the values that are given to us so mass is uh, 10 kg so times acceleration due to gravity 10 then times 2 so this will be 100 times 2 and 100 times 2 is equals to 200 joule okay so the work done is equals to 200 joule so let's quickly solve example 3 so abu whose mass is 25 kg ran up a flight of 25 steps each 20 centimeter high how much work did abu do take g to be equal to 10 meter per second square so let's solve this we can solve this here so let's write out the information that are given to us so the abu's mass okay abu's mass is equals to 25 kg okay the number of steps number of steps is equals to 25 then height of steps height of steps or height of a step okay of step is equals to 20 centimeters so the first thing first let's convert this 20 centimeter to meter why because the basic unit of distance or height is meter so to convert this to meter we simply divide by 100 so we just leave it that way divide by 100 so we reduce this this will be equals to 2 over 10 so let's leave it this way because it, it will be easier for us to multiply this way okay now but we don't know the height of the 25 steps right we don't know the height of the 25 steps we only know one to be equals to 20 centimeter which is the same thing as uh, 2 over 10 meter right which is 0 0.2 meter okay but we don't know the the height of the 25 steps so to get the height of the 25 step what we simply do is this 25 we multiply it by 0 0.2 which is 2 over 10 okay so height of let's put it 25 steps okay it's now equals to 25 times 2 over 10 okay so let's divide this 5 here is a 2 5 here is 5 then 5 times 5 is uh, sorry 2 year 1 2 year 1 so that the height of steps is equals to of the 25 steps is equals to 5 meter right but we are asked to calculate work done okay we are asked to calculate work done by abu okay and remember that work done let's continue from here remember that work done okay since abu is doing work against gravity work done is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height right now abu's mass is equals to 25 so we have 25 here, then times 10 
then times the height of the 25 steps, which is 5 meters. Okay, so 5 times 25, that would be equals to 70, you know, 5 times uh, 25, that equals to 125, right, times 10, and this would be equals to 1,250 Joule, right? So this is how much work Abu did, 1,250 Joule. Okay, so let's move back to the screen. So this is where we draw the cutting for today's preview, okay? But if you want to enjoy the full video, the complete video, you can click on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website. There you have to subscribe to enjoy the complete video. And in the complete video, we still talked about energy, talked about power and so many more. So, and you won't want to miss it. Okay, so I believe you enjoyed this video. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next video.